Hey golf fans, this is early 1981 and welcome back to the Golf Club 2019. Today we are going to be playing and reviewing Augusta National 2019. Now, obviously this course needs no introduction, it's probably one of the most famous courses in the world, if not the most famous. However, this one slipped the net for me, I'm not sure who designed this, I cannot find any information anywhere. Uh, regarding who designed this so I do apologize to the designer about that and to you guys for the, the lack of information I do normally like to have all the facts and figures for you guys when I'm playing a course but on this occasion I've came up with uh, no success so I've got no idea who played this I will be honest I played the first two holes just to make sure that this course was worthy of being on the channel because I've played a few Augustas that are like you know they've just, just been thrown together and hit with a sledgehammer but this one looks really good. It has got four and a half stars um, th from the, the people who have come and played it. The only thing that's uh, surprised me a bit is you look at the fairways and greens. And the fairways are normal, which is 100% is fine. But the greens are normal and this green speed is medium. Now, I'm, when I play Augusta or watch it on the TV, you normally associate the greens with being more on the firm side and the speed of the greens slightly faster. But... That may well be a, a masterpiece from the designer and the course might play better. So let's have a look at the tee options. We do, oh wow, we've got five tee options. We're going to opt for the black tees, which are playing 7,466 yards. And as always, pin set number one. Now, I am suffering a little bit from a touch of vertigo today. I'm, I'm really dizzy. I went to my bed really early last night. I've woke up slightly bit better, but I'm just a bit uneasy on my feet and feeling a bit nauseous. So no idea how this is going to go. Day. but at the end of the day it's not my gameplay it's important it's it's the course and getting out there for you guys to play so let's begin round hole number one is uh i think it's called t olive isn't it yeah and it is a par four playing 445 yards i'd like to thank you very much for being with us today but right now let's get down to business get down to that first tee and see what you can do so really nice rendition of the first hole as you can see, and it's something the designer's actually done really, really well. It's really clean. You would instantly recognize it as a first hole, aka T Olive on the computer. Now, you just want to avoid that bunker. You don't want to be away over here with that pin location, so just look at the come about here. It does look like we may kick slightly left. Just try to avoid this bunker. It's actually not a bad swing. So I pushed far, it so slightly to the one. right, but it should work out perfectly fine, and that should be an ideal location. There's that kick to the left that I suggested. But it means we can attack the pin. And we are right around that wind that might go in our favour. It is up hill. Mm. Just gonna have to deal off. Really going to deal off this six iron. really good strike the wind should start to take a slightly back round it has is it going to run up this slope for us right, fairly well nice probably Here leaving about a 20 foot the part, 22 feet one foot uphill green speeds are 142 which are very very slow for a course of Augusta the greens don't look as challenging as the previous Augusta renditions I've played so far, not with this pin location. This one's all on the way. I think I've under hit that. I have. I've really under hit that. Here we go, this next one for par. But we've left ourselves a simple par putt, and I tell you what, that had a very good line that did. So we do pick up a par well, on the first. On Disappointed with my weight of birdie opportunity there, but yeah, way to start things up. we'll That's learn from nice that and move on to par. hole number two, which is referred to as Pink Dogwood, and it is a par five, hole. playing 592 yards stroke index 18, which makes it the easiest hole on the course. Once again, you can clearly recognize that this is Augusta and the second hole. 
pin location slightly different, but this could well be the pin positions for the Masters 2019. I'm just gutted I do not know who designed this one, because so far it is playing really well. I certainly want to be on the left hand side of that bunker. Look at this, just a good just drive. Caught it. One should take it round, it has done, and that should really open up our approach shot to the second, which is normally a layup. Bounced more to the right, and I'd hoped. Means we're going to be playing our second shot on an awful slope. Certainly laying up here, just looking to leave a flop, or at worst, a pitch shot. Nice. Very tough pin to be fair. And we're going to be brave and try and flop this over the bunker. I've expected to, to run out a bit more than that. Ooh, wow. Wow. Do we have enough club? I'm going to take it on. This is such a tough shot because if it does land on the green, but in all fairness, we do have that. slope if we are long. I've just got to try and execute a fast on this. I haven't done it. I don't think it's going to get have the legs. No. No. That was a big ask. Really in between clubs there. So I'm not going to be picking up a birdie here unless we chip this in. I don't want to leave this short. Oh, I was playing that really attacking, trying to hit the flag stick. We missed. We're going to have about there. a six-foot putt six just from here, par nothing safe. Too scary. But the greens are certainly more forgiving than any other um, Augusta courses that I've played. We do pick nice up the par. We are going to remain at level par, not playing to the best not of our abilities, but the course is quite challenging, especially that pin location so let's move on to hole number three coming off a par on the last one let's see what happens here and this course is known as flowering peach and it is a par four playing 350 yards stroke index 12. Now, so far so good yardage of the holes seem really good really accurate the layout of the holes feel feel really good as well one with this this is this is I'm used to a wider fairway here I'm used to a lot wider fairway in this hole that wind setting us down the left hand side and I would just imagine it's gonna be a pitch up we put a fast on that but that won't affect us at go. all <coughs> but I would, would imagine this is gonna be a pitch shot within 70 yard range here should hold us up. Just going to deal off this two, three touches because I am really relying on this wind to hold the ball up here. Great execution. Wind's not held me up at all. Wow. The wind did not really hold that pitch shot up at all. I Born really expected it to affect the distance there, but we do have a birdie opportunity. Downhill, this one's going to turn to the right. No, we've not got it. Ooh, weight was good. Just missed that. Didn't allow enough for okay, the break. See what you can do with this seven going to have a little seven footer. Straightforward seven foot putt from par. Coming back. So, we're not dropping these nice birdie one. opportunities. We've really only had two birdie opportunities, that, that was the best in. opportunity we've had yet. We are going to remain level par through three holes. Okay, let's tee hole up number four one. should be a hole par three, four. which it is. And this one is called Flowering Crab Apple. And it is playing 246 yards, stroke index two. Once again, very, very accurate to my knowledge and my memory of Augusta, especially yardage wise as well, and the layout of the hole. 
think this club gets there, you know. This, this makes it convincingly and hopefully we can use that slope at the back. But this is a tough location. Sandwiched in between that two bunkers. Come on, wind. Come on, wind. This should be nice. This should really set up a birdie opportunity. Might turn back towards the hole here. No, so it's going to be a nice downhill putt. Padding surface. I think you get a uh, two putt from there. Oh, uphill. Eleven footer. This one's really going to turn to the left here. Come on, it's got a chance. Oh, why? Once again, we just don't allow Ooh, that was close. enough for the break okay, at the end. Weight was out. good. Weight was bang on, actually. And we just pick up another par. So the greens are very challenging, but they're not as extreme as the previous renditions of Augusta I played. And you know what? I think it works well. I really do. I think it works well. I think the greens are actually more realistic. But let's move on to hole and number six. From the fifth eh, number five, no. sorry. Sorry. Number five. And this hole is called Magnolia. And it is a par four. And it does play 440 yards stroke index 10. So once again... Fairly accurate yardage. Just slightly different pins to what we're used to, but every year they do come out with new pin locations, I do believe, for the Masters. And maybe the designer does have that information. Oh, wow. That is a narrower fairway than I'm used to, so we are going to club down to the two wood. Looks like that's going to kick hard left as well. Don't like how that came back on my thumb. Beautiful strike. When should take that round and what combination of the way the fairway kicks. We should just be left centre. Off the fairway, which we are. And that sets Sweet. up a good line to and come in and attack here, this flag. We're right around 170 I think yards. Yardage wise we're perfect. The only thing here, don't want to be short, that's disaster. And with that bunker, if you're long, you're going to be punished as well. So why? Uh, I do think we've got enough club here. Good strike. Wind should start to take me round. Is it going to sit though? Come on, hold, hold. No. Not the worst of approach shots. It's going to set us up for a chip shot. Attack here. Oh, yardage was fantastic. Just missed out on the line of hitting the flag. And that's just going to be another par, so we've not gotten a birdie yet. I don't think I'm swinging badly. Maybe my approach shots are not as good as what they, they, they can be. But the refreshing thing so far about this course is it does allow you to attack the pins quite aggressively. So let's move on to hole number six which Coming is known as juniper and this should be a par here. three which it is and it is playing 190 yards stroke index four and once again yardage very accurate whole layout very accurate a bunker is well positioned once again it is playing 179 yards that wind lofting this up. I think that makes it over the bunker. I really do. Hope this one bites. Try to use the slope at the back of me. Come on. Come on. Come back down. Come back down. This should come back down. Here it comes. Come on. Come on. Nah. It's reluctantly moving backwards. Okay, ended up nice decent, safe. Still a little very to decent do, approach okay, shot, we're putting from around 15 feet 15 away, feet out. it's another semi-realistic birdie opportunity for, for good putters, I would class myself in that bracket, okay this one's really going to turn, it's got a chance, oh my goodness wow! Wow, almost picking up our All first right, birdie nice of the round nice there. Here. Very unfortunate not to. 
and we are just going to pick up another par. So we are playing a solid golf. Just not dropping these birdie opportunities yet. We are going to the main level par three six holes. Hole number seven is Pampas. And it is a par four playing 454 yards stroke index eight. I think this hole's been extended by something like 100 years over the last few years. And it is a fairly straight par four as you can see. Fairway, once again, narrowing as we get further up there. And once again, very accurate. Very, very accurate. Really like this. This wind behind us should be looking at no more than a pitch shot if we find the fairway. Should be perfect. Let's look good in the air. Might actually be a gap wedge. Just with that extra distance that has been added to this hole over the few years. All right, we're right around 125 yards out. Actually, this club may be perfect. Once again, probably looking to use this slope. I wonder. No, due to the uphill element of this. We're just lofting this up two touches and letting the wind carry this. Good strike. Stay up, stay up, stay up. No, wow. Ah, oh, come on. How did that ball drop at 116, 17 yards? Wow. We have a 13 mile per hour wind behind that. I'll only lofted that up a tiny bit to let the wind carry it, not decrease the club. That is a very, very random outcome there and one I don't agree with. Wow. Once again, I reckon we're going to be hitting the lip of this. That is a fantastic shot. It didn't kick out as much as I'd hoped okay for, shot, uh, but we are going uh, to have a par putt. Okay, let's see what you can do with this seven-footer. Love to save par here. It's just going to turn slightly to the right. Really disappointed with that approach shot. I, I thought I executed it to perfection to... Do manage to secure the par save after that fantastic chip shot. And we are going to the main level par, but really surprised that with a 13 mile per hour win behind you, that shouldn't have came up as short as it did. So let's move on to hole number eight, which is a par five, and it is known as Yellow Jasmine. Stroke index 16, playing 551 yards. So once again, yardage is really, really accurate, and this should be an uphill par five. This is a really good birdie opportunity, this hole. It's a good drive here, you should be able to reach this with a, a fairway wood. Obviously wind permitting. Now you've got a crosswind which is really going to make this more difficult. Look Fast on that. Got all of that. Should one. be okay sure. though, I'm, I'm confident that wind holds me from hitting the rough. Really nasty swing line there. Okay, this one's looking to be around 240 yards this is out. Be close, actually. Two wood. I don't know. We'll actually hit the two wood. Start applying a touch of draw here. Hard club to hit off the deck. It's certainly going to be up there. Is it going to hold this this green? Look at that swing line. <laughs> wow. We do have an eagle opportunity here, and surely, at worst, we're going to walk away with birdie here, our first birdie in the round. Look at you go. On the green and under regulation, putting for eagle here. So, it's we do have an eagle putt. It is severely downhill, 18, like 5 inches, really going to turn. way I'm going to play this at, it's just going to break hard left. Lacked, lacked power to the hole and line here. there, but it's going to certainly set up a simple three foot putt for our first birdie of the round, he says, which we do convert. We do get to under par, thankfully. It's going to bring it down to one under par. We are going to move on to hole number nine, the final hole of front nine, and this hole is called Carolina Cherry. It's a par four, playing 400, 
and 66 yards stroke to deck six. This should be a dog leg left that takes us down into a gully, then up to a tricky green. And it's doing exactly that. Once again, very accurate yardage and course layout, hole layout. Now, if you're sensible, you put your tee shot way down, down here somewhere and just hope for it to be safe. I'm just going to apply one touch of draw though. That's an old oh, leap. That's a nice new addition is that trees so close together where they're certainly in play. I've made a mess of this. Run out, run out, run out. Oh, we're going to be in the, the light draft. Yeah. Poor swing there. That's all that came down. But we're still going to have an opportunity. I mean, normally I'm a used to that that pin being in the middle here in a little little gully, so it's certainly defi definitely new pin positions this year. That's 60. I think this might be a touch too long. But we're going to take it on. Nice strike. Don't think it's going to hold the green. No. Oh, it is. Yeah, so we just hold the green there. It might come back a tiny, tiny little bit here. Just speed that up. Very nice. Here we go. So this one's playing as well as I can here. But I tell you something, really enjoying this experience. Of course, I will certainly go and play again with pleasure. 23 footer, 3 inches uphill. Extreme break to the left. Come on. Turn, 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 turn. Very good pattern yeah. attempt there. Yardage was good. And we do Next convert coming up. our putt. So we're going to finish the front nine one okay. under. Okay, one under for the round. I don't think I've played to the best of my abilities, but I don't think I've played badly. I've, the course has asked a lot of us, and I think I've earned my one under. So. Very enjoyable front nine. Let's move on to hole number ten, which is called Camellia. Okay, let's see what happens and here. And this should on be this a par four. Par four. Let's go ahead and, and it drop is playing this one into the fairway. Five hundred yards in stroke index five. So once again, very very accurate. This should be a long dog leg left, which it is. I mean, unless you're Bubba Watson here. The option of taking the driver off the tee and drawing it round the corner is a high risk. I tell you what, that bunker certainly in play, but we are going to take the driver. We do. It doesn't look as difficult as what it does on the TV. And if we catch this slope, it really shortens this long par four. Great execution. That was a tee shot. That should be ideal. The fairway is really going to slope me away from the rough. Come on. I know you start turning left. Oh, wow. How did that ball not turn left? So I just didn't apply enough draw on that. It's, it's only the light rough. Come down to seven iron here. We are just applying a touch and draw. This slope will take us to the right also. Great strike. This should be close. This should be fairly close. This should run out well for me. It's decent. It's one of our better approach shots so far in the round. Sweet. Okay, Just amazed we're at that. Around 15 that shot didn't out. trickle down the left hand side of the fairway more, but we do have an uphill putt. This one's going to turn minimal with the weight I am going to play it at. Oh, just played that with far too much pace. Far too much pace. That was me, that wasn't the game, that was just me. Misjudged the, the pace of that. The miss out on the birdie. But we do pick up the par. Just our putting's letting us down at times today. One under for Unfortunately. the round. So we are going to remain at one under so far. Let's move on to hole number 11. number 11, which is known as White Dogwood, and this is another long par four. And it is playing 505 yards stroke index 13. It's another dog leg, and this one's really going to test your nerve. I 
green is protected by a pond on the front left, a bunker back right. So once again, very, very accurate. I do recall um, Greg Norman's most memorable masters in 1987, just watching highlights of that when uh, Larry Mize's 140-yard pitch stole the green jacket off the Sharks' grasp in a playoff, and I'm sure it was this hole. I'm sure it was this hole. Right, that fairway's really made tight, narrow. This is a beautiful looking course. It really is stunning. Should be perfect. I'm liking that one. Hopefully this kicks forward and not left. I think we're just going to enter the light rough. So we're really struggling to find fairways well, on some of these pretty, holes. Pretty but I'm in an right ideal right location because it does kind of take out the pond here. I am clubbing down. Two to seven iron. With that wind and slope. I reckon we make it on the green here. And set up a birdie opportunity. I'll put a fast on it, but it shouldn't affect me too much. It's gonna come up short, but it should kick on to the green. It's gonna, it's gonna set me up for a longish birdie putt. And this putt for the birdie. So, I do have a birdie opportunity here. This one's going to turn slightly to the right. It is uphill, 23 feet, up 6 inches. It's got the line, hasn't got the weight. Oh, no! Just under hit that one. That, that was due to All me right, over nice hitting the previous one. Point. And we had the line per to perfection. So it's another well, par, well. solid golf. It really is. Okay. So let's move on to round. probably one of the most famous par threes in the world, and this one is coming off a par certainly the last one. Let's see what not needing here. an introduction. It is the Golden Bell, and it is a par three, playing 159 yards, stroke index seven. I mean, scientists have studied how such a short par three can destroy so many scorecards on the Masters, and I think it's just the wind and Ray's Creek. I mean, but the bunkers, these three well-positioned bunkers, are heartbreakers. So, this, Greg Norman, once again, this was the start of his collapse. Um, was it 1996? With uh, Nick Faldo. I'm sure he shelled his tee shot into the, into the creek. So, 158 down 10. I say it's playing 155 with that crosswind. Just gonna loft this up a touch. I'm not prepared to loft it up any more than that. This is a tough shot. Great execution. Slightly pulled it left. I think this one's going for it. Is it gonna hold these greens? Fantastic shot, and I'll take that any day of the week. Just okay, disappointed. I, I pulled that Nine to the left. Here. Hopefully, think, we can I think you can do that. have a fairly realistic birdie opportunity here. Nine footer. Really not been putting well this round. Turn, turn, boom. Woo. That putt was deserved. That tee shot deserved the and birdie. Not, oh, and we do move down. to two under par. I'm, I'm actually pleased with that because. I found birdie opportunity so slim um, to come by this round. So let's move on to hole number 13. Okay. Part five. And this is referred to as as elite, and it is a par five, playing 510 yards, stroke index 17. I'm sure I saw 510 yards. It's saying 491 top left. But we've got Ray's Creek guarding the left edge of the fairway all the way along this dog leg left. And it acts as a moat around the green, as you're seeing. Wow. Once again, really at 422 yards, it said, so I don't know where I'm getting that from. This vertigo is really affecting my, not only my vision, but my thinking. I do apologise. Wow. This is ve a lot tighter than other renditions that I've played of this. Wow, man. I'm clubbing down. Not to the putter but to the two it because I really don't think it's necessary to actually play one iron. Oh, 
Now that was a swing. She just opened out an approach shot to the green. I think we played that smart. All right, I'm an aggressive like player, but there's no benefit at this point to, to hitting that. I think this club's made for it. Does this get over cre the creek? With that wind, I'm going to say no. I would rather be long here. That's a great strike. I'll try to use the slope. It should sit down and hold the green for me. And I tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, that is a really good shot from there. This is a fantastic course. I am loving this. What, this some, is probably uh, the best rendition of Augusta I've played. Next putt, Certainly the most eagle. enjoyable anyway. So a 19-foot putt. This is for Eagle. Down five inches. This is tough. Come on. Turn, 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 turn. Oh my goodness, what an eagle putt that is. Wow. Wow, and I am really excited about that. And that moves us to four under par for the round. And we're starting to get our rewards. The course is starting to reward us for digging in, holding in, and playing the course the way it was designed to. So let's move on to hole number five, uh, 14, sorry. And I think this is called Chinese Fair. It is a par four, playing 445 yards. Stroke index one. Slow. The slightest of dog legs left here. This is the only hole in the course without a bunker, as you'll notice. The main defence of this hole is a two-tier green, which can leave the best players with possibly long putts. So you can see the two tiers, but we're fortunately on the bottom tier for this approach shot. Imagine this could be close to a pitch shot. We execute this drive properly. Just want to. Ooh, wait, that. The slightest touches of draw here. Solid Played swing. That well. This should be ideal. This should be ideal. Come on, sit down. Oh, wow. Needed a touch more draw there. I really did. Didn't apply enough draw. It's not a pitch shot now. Win behind us. I'm actually lofting this up two touches. Slope could well use to our advantage. Both the slopes. Great execution. Should kick out well for me, but we're not going to be in prime pattern location. I like that a wee bit more to the left of the flag, but yardage is really, nice. really good. All right, here we go for the birdie. Pin high putt, slightly uphill. Oh, why are you kidding me? That just turned away from the hole with the last right, break. Nice I thought I would putt. play that putt to perfection. Wait and read. And, and we're just going to pick up the par there. Wow, that was so, so four close to another birdie. But we remain at four under par and we are going to move on to hole number 15. But this is a must play course for all you subscribers. And hole number 15, 15 is referred to as up. Fire Foreign. It is a par five. It plays 530 yards. Stroke index nine. It is playing 533 here. This is certainly reachable too. It is probably a realistic birdie opportunity. Also, what you need to do is avoid hitting. Your drive to the left here and being blocked out by the trees. The green is really protected by water and bunkers. And with that pin location, it's going to be tough. Just look at the come down this way. The fairway does kick to the left. That is a horrible drive. A nice look how far shot. I've pulled that. I've gotten away with one there. Keep saying it. My swing is just not crisp okay. as well. It usually is these Slide last few shot holes. Up. We have about 250 yards to the pin. Two, three, eight. 
I think this club gets there. I'm, I'm convinced it does. It has to get there. It's a great strike. Just wanting this to run on from the front of the green. Get up. Ah, just lack the legs, but it'll hold the, the light rough there. And set up probably a flop shot or a chip shot. I think it's going to be the chip shot, to be fair. Just clubbing down to the 9 iron and just going to play this and let it run out. Hopefully it reaches there and gets close. This should run out. Come on. Come on, keep going. Expected that to run out to 18 yards. Nine footer here. Checked up at 17, so we're gonna have a nine foot putt for birdie. This one's just gonna turn left. Boom! Right into the heart of the cup. Fantastic putt, and we do move to five under par. Oh, we'll and we're really under. starting to make this this round a lot more respectable but it's such an enjoyable course this is up there with early 1981's Loch Ness I've not played a course as good as that since then so let's move on to hole nice number 16 oh, now this is called a red bud here. and it is a par 3 and it is playing 180 yards stroke index 3 and this shot is played entirely over water pin positions mm, very very tough this is a guts or glory moment this one Wow, very, very tough shot this, just beautiful hole man, just, just look at this in its entirety, wow, water's in play the whole way, 182 yards, that wind, bunker, I'm coming in here, We're drawing this. This is a this is a, a like I said, guts or glory moment. This could go horribly wrong, but I'm trying to eliminate the, the bunker here. It's a great execution. I tell you what. I tell you what, ladies and gentlemen. That is a fantastic shot from there considering the wind. I thought that would run out more than 180 yards, but birdie. we'll take it and it has set up a birdie opportunity. 15 footer up two inches. It's going to turn to the left. It's got a chance. Boom! And I tell you what, our putt in these last few holes and the way we've played this. Six under for the round. This back nine has been nothing short of outstanding. Why we are five under in the back nine and really enjoying it. Let's move on to. Hole number 17, the penultimate hole in this hole fantastic course, and it is a par 4. Played 443 yards, stroke index 15, and this hole is referred to as Nan Dina. I just have to take a second look at that water to make sure I pronounce that properly. Due to a uh, irrevocable damage caused by a 2010 ice storm, the iconic um, Eisenhower tree that jutted out on the left hand side of the fairway was removed revealing the penultimate hole to be a straight uphill line and I tell you what the designers recreated that as well just looking to hit fairway here and get a good run out oh, I'm liking it I think this is okay it kicks right swing look at that swing line I mean really the people have accused me of hacking in the past and this should really be embarrassed because I, I approve That's every round I'm no yards from here. So 140 yards with that wind behind me uphill I think it's perfect I'm actually just going to loft it up one touch I think this club's absolutely perfect Great execution. This should be all over Ooh, this pin. For the this should here. be all over this pin. Oh, it didn't sit down as quick as I would have liked. I really expected that to sit down quicker. 
It's just so disappointing that the wedges don't do what you expect them to do in this game. I mean, in real life, that ball would have sat down and probably spun back a little bit. We've got a 15 foot putt. We've been putting well. We really have been putting well. Is this one on track again? Oh my goodness! That just missed by the skin of her teeth there for another birdie to move us to seven under par. Just going to be a straightforward putt for Decent par, which we do convert. And we are moving down to 18. Six under for the round. It's six under par. Moving on to hole number 18. I really wish I knew who designed this course. If anyone knows, please leave it in the comment section because it truly is a fantastic hole. Uh, course hole number 18 is known okay, as Holly. It is a par here. four. It's playing Let's 467 yards stroke Get index 11. Up after this. So, like many other holes around the course, wind dictate the club selection. The players always looking to land short of the fairway bunkers, which you saw on the fly over there. The tennis green is protected by two large bunkers just to add to the fun. This is a truly magnificent course. I think it's been made more playable for the fact with the greens being normal I would like to see if I was going to change anything about this course I would change the green speeds to the 170 180 mark this is a tough shot just looking to avoid this bunker well, I keep pulling things left today it's not going to work here. out due to the, the strong wind and with that uphill bunker it's going to be a tough shot into this very tight All right, sloping uh, we're right around 105 yards out wow I really don't know I mean it's one of these shots does that wind help you out yardage wise I don't think it always does just drawing this it's a far better strike one wind. Stay up. This should be good. Ooh, almost hit the flag stick there. Very good approach shot there. I don't think that could have worked out much nice. better unless it stopped stone dead. Right, which you're never going to get in this game. Bird. So we've got a 13 foot putt for birdie. Down four inches. Gonna turn left. Come on. It's not turning. Ooh, Didn't turn at all. There disappointed that that putt did not turn anywhere near like it suggested it would I mean look back at that putt line there guys that was quite an, abre an aggressive break to the left unfortunately it didn't do it that's golf that's this game and we are going to finish with a par on this final hole Solid. what a fantastic well course that is delighted to have managed to get it out there for you guys to go and play when it's all said and done really enjoyed that my six under I felt I had to fight for every part of that six under the, the birdie chances are slim. I only got that due to some really good hanging in there and some really good putts. But that is an absolute gem of a course. Best course I have played on the golf club 2019 since uh, Artful Dodgers rendition of early 1981's Love Nest. That is a must play course guys, it really is. For me, 100% favourite and without a doubt a 5 star. Please get out there and play it, let me know your thoughts. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please spam the like button guys because the channel is slowly growing and the likes really help out the video. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe button. Please feel free to share my videos. Tell all your friends about the channel and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care, peace out and love you all. Bye.